Hello and welcome to the African Mama channel. My name is Valentina and I am so, so happy to share many tips, tricks, and life events with you. I make videos about anything family, motherhood, nursing, life as a Navy spouse, and any organizational skills and decor and travel. I would love to interact with you, so please, please, please leave a comment down below so we can get to know each other. And now let's get into the video. Good morning. It is bright and early and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my daily bottle sterilization technique. This is what I normally do in the morning when I wake up after feeding my newborn. I just wake up, brush my teeth, kind of put some water on my face and just get ready and start the day. I don't know if you guys ever tried the laser hair removal technique. I went to this laser away place to try to get my hair removal done on my face, but um, then I got pregnant and I couldn't do it anymore. So what I decided to do was just kind of buy this flawless hair remover for $20 on Amazon um, to kind of help the little zits that still grow on my face just to kind of take those off because you know it's not attractive. <laughs> and you know, it's kind of working. So that's what I'm pretty much doing here. I'm just taking up those little zits from my face um, I really enjoy this little tool because it's very very gentle on the face it is not abrasive at all and it does the work you know because the hair on my face is not as much as it used to be I don't have PCOS that's not my problem I've been checked out before it's just I have a lot of hair in my body but it's just not on my head it's just everywhere else and I think I'm not the only person experiencing this but anyway back to the point this tool is magic I really love it it's really good if you don't have a whole lot of hair on your face um, and I, I highly recommend it so I'll put the description of it I'll put the link down below so that you can get it if you're interested in trying it So before I start my morning routine, I like to turn on some news or sometimes just my YouTube, my favorite YouTube uh, TV stars, I call them my TV stars, and just watch them and just start my day that way. I love to watch Jasmine Ama, guys. I think I'm obsessed with anybody who's doing YouTube videos about going back home, going back to Ghana, because I don't know, I just can't wait to go there myself. Not to live yet, I'm not in that kind of stage of my life, but I just wanna go back on vacation. So I'm just constantly watching about African videos. But that's pretty much what I'm doing. I like to start off by just putting away all my dishes, the dishes, the dishes I washed the night before, um, and just kind of get my area organized and clean before I start off um, with the cleaning and the sterilizing of all the baby bottles and items. And the technique that I'll be using is a technique that you can also use with um, baby uh nipples what do you call those things they put in their mouth the pacifiers you can use with pacifiers you can use with little small toys that babies use to to um uh, when they're teething you can use to sterilize those items as well it is really really good some people prefer to just use do it a simple way which is just buy like a, a microwave safe sterilizer and just throw all the bottles in there put a little bit of water and just run it through the microwave for three or four minutes or however minutes um, the tool says that you should run it for or maybe even just put them in the dishwasher but I find that this technique is really really effective I mean my bottles and all my baby tools come out squeaky clean so I do really enjoy using this method when I do have some time One way to make your time go by most effectively or to use your time more effectively is by, like you saw earlier, um, fill up your pan with water, 
um, before you start the process of cleaning with soap and water and then get it to boil while you're washing all of the bottles. Um, when you do that, by the time you're done washing all the bottles, the water is already boiling, so you're now saving time. Over here, as you're seeing, I'm really thoroughly going in, washing the bottles with soap, water, and a brush that is specific for bottles. I love Dr. Brown bottles because my baby was a preemie, and not even just for preemie babies, these bottles are amazing when it comes to gas. Uh, preventing um, vomiting and just a lot of issues that uh, these little babies tummies have uh, Dr. Brown bottles are like the best and even speech therapists at the hospital recommend these bottles these are the bottles that are used in most hospitals from what I am aware of by being a nurse and also by being a mom um, the only thing about these bottles that some people may not like a lot is that they come with a lot of little parts and those parts are what um, help with the ventilation system or vent system that reduces the gas um, that baby feel the colic and all of the vomiting um, but they need to be cleaned really thoroughly so as you see here I'm going in through all the little holes to make sure that bacteria doesn't grow in there and mold doesn't grow in there because you know milk gets old really quick and it can make these babies sick so be sure every time to clean in there thoroughly all of the pieces so as you're seeing here, I'm just going in, even if my brush doesn't fit, I just get my little, even your own regular dishwashing dish brush and just going in there and cleaning the, the little tubes with, with that. So once my bottles are properly washed, I like to always spray um, my kitchen counter after washing it too with some Windex. It just it just makes that counter look so nice and fresh like you just really cleaned it or something or like a cleaner came up clean your house. Um, here you see my water is boiling and it's about ready for me to start putting in those bottles. Uh, the water was not really um, all the way up to the brim, which is how you want it really so that it doesn't pour over, but I just needed to add a little bit more water um, to just make sure that everything is covered. Um, it won't cover all the way up even if you have a huge bottle because the, the bottles uh, tend to float to the top. Um, but at least you want the water to go inside of the bottle so that the sterilization process is really working. So you'll see me adding some water towards the end. After setting all the bottles and its parts and all the things I want to sterilize, I just let these things um, boil for about five minutes and then after I boil them I just let them sit for a little while so that they're not so hot when I'm trying to take them out and just set them. Sometimes I do just take them out because my hands are kind of used to it but that's kind of what I do. Um, just kind of uh, just let them boil just let them cook you know. Then what I normally do as my bottles are boiling I just go and get some tea and just try to enjoy it after all this process.
and she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. That's for my daughter and that's for myself. We leave sparkles wherever we go. Well, uh, we've reached the end of this video. I really, really enjoyed making it. I hope that you enjoyed it too and found it helpful. I'll be making more and more videos about motherhood, about things that I know and I've learned um, on the way and things that might help you too with your little ones and more and more videos about anything that um, it has to do with family, lifestyle and blah, blah, blah. That's just all fun. Well, anyway, if you found it helpful, just be sure to do me a favor. Click like, share and subscribe. Subscribe. Till next time, you have a great, great day. And one thing to remember and never forget is that life is short, so live each day the best way that you can. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.